Hi, I'm in Greyshot, which is a well-being spa and health retreat outside of London. And I am doing a taster of the gut program that they do. So at Greyshot, you can do two things. You can either do a traditional spa retreat in which you eat very healthy foods and you kind of pick your own schedule so you can have a massage, you can have a um, acupuncture. They do lots of very medical treatments. It's not like just wrapping you up in, you know, um, yeah, like not wrapping you up in a nice oil. They do lots and lots of really much more intensive treatments. But then there's also the gut week, which runs from a Wednesday to Wednesday and is much more targeted. It's kind of designed to really help to get your gut working properly and, and to increase the healthy strains of bacteria in your gut. So the idea being that if your gut works well, I mean, this is very, very popular at the moment, but I think that it has really sound medical research behind it, that if your gut works well, everything in your body works well. So we had a lecture last night as an introduction where they told us that 80% of your immunity comes directly from your gut. Your gut's responsible for so many functions in the body. Um, this kind of grossed me out, but the bacteria in your body weighs, the bacteria just in your gut, sorry, weighs two to three kilos on its own. That is gross. That made me feel quite ill. But anyway, um, so what you do when you get here, what I did yesterday when I was far too tired to film, is you come in, you, uh, whatever time you want, I think check-ins from like 2.30. So I got here at about 2.30, had a bit of lunch. Um, that was pre-supervision, so I just had the standard spa lunch. Then you have a body, you have a test where people ask you sort of, you know, what's your health like? All the usual kind of questions, like what supplements do you take? Are you on medication? All the things you have to ask someone who's having undergoing any kind of treatment. And then after that, you have a body composition analysis, which is where they hook you up to a machine, you hold it in your palms of your hands, there's like a current that passes through you. You can't have it if you have any metal plates in your body, but I only have root canal, so I was fine. And you hold on to these metal, um, uh, what's it called, like metal um, sensors, and they go on the soles of your feet as well, and it measures exactly what you're made of. So they know your mineral composition, your fats, or... Um, how much muscle you've got, the quality of the muscle and things like that. And um, it, it all sort of informs them as to where you need to be. Sorry, I just had to pause filming because the um, chambermaid came in um, and I'm gonna have to let her in soon. And sorry about the, the bed situation. Um, yes, so uh, BMI check, yep. So basically it's a lot more thorough and a lot more comprehensive and it actually makes a lot more sense to look at someone properly and see what they're made of than just to say, well, your weight's about fine. Um, because you could be made of anything. You could be, you know, 30 kilos of fat. So yeah, that was interesting. Right, so then you have your blah, talk, the introductory talk, and this is where they talked about the gut bacteria and stuff like that. Another thing I found really interesting and I really want to tell you about is the fact that if you have acid reflux and you feel like you need to dampen down the acid in your stomach apparently that is the worst thing you can do and taking pills to sort of you know like Rennie's or whatever compounds the problem because what's happening when you have an excess of acid coming up your throat is usually that your um, acid is too low so when the food gets into your stomach and it's all meant to be your stomach acid is meant to be 1.5 in pH which is the same as battery acid so pretty acidic and it is meant to take the food and almost instantly burn it off and burn any of the bacteria that's coming in. So that's the crucial bit. If you're not, the bad bacteria that is, if you, well, in fact, I'd imagine all the bacteria because the bacteria then is in your gut. Yeah, so forget that, all the bacteria. And if you have anything that's sort of bad for you and your stomach acid doesn't kill it, it then lingers at the valve and goes into small intestine where you really encounter problems. That's when you get wind and when you get your valve becomes a bit sloppy and the stomach acid, when you lie down, goes up. So you want to actually be increasing your stomach acid if you suffer from this. So they give you digestive bitters here. It's also something that they did at the Maya Clinic that I was at earlier in the year. They give you these digestive bitters. They're very bitter, really quite gross. You drink them right before you eat or you can have here, they also give you a little bit of sauerkraut. So you can have um, pickles, something like that. Something that is... Um, fermented but not heated up so crucially it won't kill the prebiotics because the prebiotics will feed your probiotics i'm still getting my head around all of this because it's it this year has been a real education in the gut but effectively you need more acid so don't take any anti-acid pills please just like take more acid and you can also take um bitters but you could also do apple cider vinegar as a as a single treatment but it actually 
the difference between apple cider vinegar and digestive bitters is that apple cider vinegar is effectively just pouring acid into your stomach so it will help the problem but it won't help your body to produce its own acid which is what digestive bitters do okay that done went to dinner it was a supervised dinner so you sit with the lady elaine in this case who was giving the speech and she then talks to there's a group of people on this treatment so it's quite nice because you meet people i always find that bit quite fun and you can ask her questions if you want and you have your dinner the dinner was substantial i wasn't hungry afterwards at two courses and to be honest it's, it was more than i'm used to eating now so i kind of found that great because i went to bed not hungry went to bed fairly early um you know dinner finished at like 8 30 so went for a walk around the grounds it was getting dark but went for a walk around the grounds and then came in and went to bed woke up this morning um did a few exercises because the gym man said that i need to be doing um really high intensity for like 10 minutes a day nothing more so i did really high intensity i was good i've started on a, started well um hopefully we'll carry on no i will carry on i will well i'll let you know how i how i get but anyway yeah so i did i did 10 minutes in the morning then went to breakfast breakfast was a really um a smoothie but a thick smoothie that you chewed and it the idea of it was is that they here combine good protein good fats and good um good low gi food so basically you're not hungry but you're constantly getting this really balanced meals that actually make you feel good and um and full and basically not hungry so anyway that's that now I am going to go and have um, a hydrotherapy bath, which I will hopefully be able to film some of, and a compress, and then there's a speech. They're very into education here. It's a big part of the program, as it rightly should be, because actually there's no point in doing all of this stuff if you can't then carry it on at home. I'm gonna sneeze. Um, I'm gonna show you around the room, and then I'll do some ground shots, and I'll slide them in somewhere. I'm going to try to just get a little bit as i go and um yeah see how that does hopefully pin it together with these diaries but i am now going to just show you the room so this is the um beautiful this is my favorite thing in the whole room because i just i want to take it home but anyway bedside table my mum has come with me so her things were are littered around right so we are in room four over here are some of the other rooms that are smaller I think and they're not in the main house I haven't seen them yet they may even be staff quarters but I've seen people in there so they're definitely grey shot rooms but this is we're in the main house there is a sunbathing area down there's the terrace um here are the grounds so th these are acres and acres and acres of grounds they do three walks a day that you can join in on so they really take advantage of these beautiful grounds as they should Okay, so stunning, and actually, they're not doing it now. If I catch them later, I will take some footage, but right there, in the morning and in the afternoon, you will always see little rabbits jumping around. It's the cutest thing in the world. They have fluffy white tails, and they look absolutely adorable. Okay, so TV, um, they have an extensive DVD collection downstairs, so if you find yourself wanting to watch a film in bed, that's actually really good, and when you're detoxing, or not detoxing, but being healthy, you kind of need that. Right, again, sorry about the state of this room because we've just sort of left everything out, but lovely sink, again, the view, big bath, um, all my products. What is exciting here? Let me just have a look. Okay, well, I've got my antioxidant serum, that's radical. This is a great eye cream, Philorga, very good, really impressed by that, and has one of those l nice little heads that you roll on. I'm still obsessed with the Radical um, face cream. I put this in like my New Year's edit and I'm still loving it. Um, this is good, very, very good. I'm getting back into moisturizer after saying that they're crap and now moisturizers are really getting better again. This is a good vitamin C serum that I'm using and I love it by Ula Henriksen. It's Ula, I checked the pronunciation. Obviously my Korean patches from Beauty Mart to hold my fringe back. I've got some Pixie Glow Tonic, bit of a classic. And of course, as if I would go anywhere without my Institute Esthederm eye patches, I take them everywhere with me and they're great. And then I've got Homeoplasmine, which I can't really, see. there we go, Homeoplasmine for like spots or problems. And this Kerastase hair oil. And then here in the body section, I've just got like a mini aromatherapy associates oil, cordially shampoo and conditioner, Dermalogica deodorant, because I'm trying to stay off, you know, traditional deodorants. Emma Hardy body moisturizer and a Lizelle body wash. Okay, so then here's the bed, the double bed. So mum and I obviously don't want to sleep in a double bed, so there's our separate sort of together beds. 
kind of magazine rack. They give you loads of magazines because again, you're probably going to spend loads of time sitting around. Um, my makeup, which is plonked everywhere. Right. Two armchairs and a proper desk. I need a proper desk now because everywhere I go, I bring my laptop and my millions of post-it notes. Okay, so that's the room. I'm going to film outside a little bit too on my way down, but I have to go to my bath now. This is right outside my room. Glorious, glorious window. Lunch and breakfast and dinner are served in here. And I'll just show you quickly. So that was the normal dining room. And this is where, if you're on the gut program, you all sit together and um, you get to have dinner with your nutritionist, lunch, breakfast, dinner with a nutritionist. Nice tea area. You can just, oh, let me just show you quickly. Here are all the various herbal teas because they don't encourage alcohol. Thank you. I have, but not like this. So basically, do you just lie in it, or? Yeah, it's got this like a small like a jacuzzi, but uh, we put Epsom salt in it. Okay. Um, just for like detoxing. Okay. So you know the jets there. Yep. It's so these are Epsom salts. Yeah, these are Epsom salts. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in. Yep. Yeah. And then you just lie in there. Yeah. So I'm back in the room after that bath and basically what it was is that they, um, as you saw, they put the Epsom salts into the bath, it bubbles, it bubbles in different areas and it's quite intense so it starts on your legs and I quite like that because it feels like it's moving things, like you're moving the blood around your body and possibly helping the lymph out I like to think but it felt good, it felt like almost like a workout but I was just lying in a warm bath. I just sat there while it bubbled away around me and then you get out and you have to leave, you can't moisturise and you can't wash yourself for an hour you have to leave the epsom salts on your skin that's actually um the hardest part for me because if my skin's dry it drives me a little bit bonkers i need my skin to be moisturized at all times also i've just had a look at myself on the camera and i know i'm really shiny and i look a bit odd but it's partly because i've put on loads of moisturizer today and i've also you know like i'm being healthy so i'm not putting on like my normal foundation i haven't put on any powder and stuff so I expect I'll be like a like with shiny grease ball by the end of the day, just so you're prepared. Anyway, next treatment is the the colon compress. No, not colon. I keep saying colon compress. Next treatment is just the compress. I don't know why I'm thinking colon. It's all gut stuff. Um, yeah, so I will try to film a bit of that.